Hello everyone. Welcome to my talk. I am Akib Azman Turzo and my talk is titled Eat and Eat Powered Eshell Fast Feasible Terminal Inside Emacs. So I just claimed that Eat is a fast terminal emulator. Let me show you that. I will print an one megabyte sized file in the terminal using this command and it takes 0 0.76 seconds now let's benchmark term mode the built in term mode I use the same command and it's clearly the lo loser It took 12 seconds, more than a mag order of magnitudes slower. Let's also measure the speed of Britain. And it took seven zero point seven nine seconds. Wait. This is actually a little bit slower than it. Why? That shouldn't happen. Anyway, hopefully that shows how fast, uh, fast it is. So, let's run some Excel programs in it. Like top. You can also run htop or even btop. This is a fancy version of top, and obviously, you can run Emacs in it. There is much mouse support, and there is true color support. So you can show any color in the terminal as long as your main display supports it. And then there is shell integration. For example, directory tracking. Like if I I can switch to some other directory and you must follow the shell directory then there is prompt annotation this column these zeros indicate that the command has executed successfully then you can navigate between commands like this and there is message passing for the by message passing i mean sending something from the terminal to the host emacs by host emacs i mean the time uh, emacs running the terminal for example i can say hi and it's showing hi in this equal area of my emacs then let's show you the killer feature of it Eshell integration if you can run any program in it for example top b top and obviously Emacs itself so let's discuss how to use it there are four input modes
the first one is semi star mode that will default mode this is like v time all keys are sent to a terminal except these keys control c control x control z meta x etc and then there is char mode where all keys are sent to a terminal except this meta return key which takes you back to the semi star mode then there is emacs mode where you can select and copy from the terminal buffer and finally there is line mode no, uh, the, you can use it to use your terminal like a comment buffer this is only available all these input modes are available in both it and eshell i mean it eshell mode except this line mode it's only available on it <laughs> by by the thing on it i mean the terminal you get by this it command and by eshell i mean when it eshell integration is enabled inside eshell buffer So, the, there is an info manual and also the readme is quite informative for you to get started. Then So if you hit any problem, there is a dedicated chapter for debugging that, a common problems chapter. And if your problem is still not fixed, please report it to me. This helps me to improve it for everyone. And when you report, please read this chapter so that you can make better bug report so i'm really looking forward how people use it in their workflow i'm excited about that hopefully you enjoy my talk that was all well. Enjoy Maxcon. Goodbye.